But next, one of our favourite groups on the comeback trail. When it comes to musical staying power, there's one group that stands out from all the rest, Wickety Whack. These resilient rockers with a distinctive look are again on the comeback trail. Doug Murray's caught up with the boys to see why you just can't keep a good band down. Gillian, if you recognise this wacky get-up, you're probably a big fan of Brisbane's band of golden oldies. And probably not surprised to learn that Wickety Whack is back again. You're a glass of queen, that is what you are. They would hit the ground uh -huh. if you had no pride. Well, last year it was called Lock Up Your Grandmother's Tour in about September last year. Well, lock them up again. The comeback catch cry is no exaggeration. A band more than a generation old can turn young fans into grannies. I never miss it. Greatest show in Australia. Oh, marvellous. Right. Real Queenslanders, yes. They're just pure Australia. You really get a feedback from the audience. You look there and sometimes you, you can see people that you hadn't seen for 20 years and it's a real buzz. Over 30 years, actually, beginning at the Currabee Hotel, with local boys passing themselves off as interstaters to attract a fatter paycheck. They were that good. Soon, they were regulars at Sydney nightclubs, a show band to fill venues. Part of the attraction was a willingness to make fools of themselves with cheesy antics that could go wrong. Like when the emu character ventured off stage near a big dog. There was this great Dane standing there and he spotted me and he saw this big bird and he, I guess he thought it said, mmm, love that chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and we're yelling out, party quick, get out, and he back after on me. stage, yeah. After Jumping back on stage is almost an arthritic impossibility these days. I just tell him straight, just say I'm 68. <laughs> and I'm the opposite end of the scale, I'm with, no, 52. He's the baby. They agreed to quit when 1990 rolled around. If we hadn't have stopped, I might have been dead by now. Because <laughs> life in the fast lane and everything like that. The boys, realising their popularity has not wavered, begin a new tour tonight at the Callum Vale Hotel. Number one fan, John Power. Oh, Doug, it's fantastic. I'm tickle pink. Absolutely. Not surprised? No, not surprised at all. What has changed is I think we're all far more relaxed. We can only marvel and wonder how many more comebacks. They're asking, has anyone died? Um, and while we're all alive, we'll continue doing it. Wickety Wax still drawing a crowd.